Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. So I just done this crazy thing and went out and got one of the cheapest monitors on Amazon and it's the 24N1 monitor by Kuri. And the reason why I got this you may ask is simply because I was looking to change up my workflow and upgrade to a dual monitor setup. So let's go and unbox this thing. The monitor comes in a nice medium sized box that is surprisingly lightweight. The box has the Kuri logo along with all the relevant information about the monitor on the side, foam that ensures the protection of the device. Now, the top layer of styrofoam contains all the relevant accessories for this monitor. Included in the little plastic package is a clip for cable management and a user manual that comes in a range of different languages to help you with the setup of this monitor. Additionally, there is a HDMI cable included which is always a nice touch. The power supply and adapter are located right here. Next, you will see the stand which comes in two pieces that is made up of the base and the arm where the monitor will be attached. From the back of the monitor, we can see the Kuri logo is seamlessly embedded on it. Additionally, there is a 75 by 75 vase amount option available. This spot right here is where our stand will be docked. There's also a security lock and more information about the monitor can be found right here. It has ports for power, VGA and HDMI. There are five different buttons embedded within the design. We have the power button, select button, left and right buttons for navigation and the menu button. The power indicator light is located right here and it turns white when the monitor is on. Looking at it from this view, you can get an idea of the thickness from the side profile. From the top you can see a nice curved design that widens as it goes down. At the front we have the screen along with the logo that is seamlessly embedded within the monitor's design. We also have icons for each of the buttons that blend in super well. I really like the narrow bezels of this monitor that goes all around the sides and top. Upon closer inspection we can slightly make out the thin bezel on the design, but it's so thin that I had to zoom in with the camera. It's safe to say that it has an almost edgeless design. Overall, I would say it has a clean design that would fit well with any workspace. The stand installation is simple and straightforward with no additional tools required. You just need to attach two pieces together and gently press them in place. If you need to disassemble it, press the black button located right here to remove it. Then proceed to place your cable management clip. Next, attach the stand to the back of the monitor and you're all good to go. The stand gives you the ability to tilt the monitor backwards and forwards and adjust it to your liking. Since I'm going for a dual monitor setup, I will be making use of the vase amount to attach it to my Juan Nuo dual monitor stand. Even though I have decided to have it in portrait mode, but for the sake of this video I will have it in landscape orientation to showcase the features of this monitor in landscape mode to properly demonstrate its capabilities. To put things in terms of numbers, this monitor has a 24 inch screen with an IPS panel that delivers a resolution of 1920 by 1080 full HD and a refresh rate of 75Hz. However, I must note that the actual display size is 23.8 inches and I'll also add some relevant details about this monitor right here. Opening the menu on this monitor reveals a range of customizable options for display, language, game mode, image mode, color temperature, aspect ratio, input options, other settings, and the reset option. You have a range of color settings to choose from. I'm currently using the standard setting which will probably be my go-to. Navigating to movie shows the screen dimmed down a little which is perfect for when watching movies, while FPS and RTS enhance the gaming experience. With iSaver, you can clearly see its efforts to eliminate that blue light. I tested the monitor by browsing through a range of different websites to evaluate its clarity and colour output. In my opinion, it looks just right and performs well. I also use Notion quite often to script my YouTube videos and this monitor is perfect for it. I especially appreciate the iSaver mode which filters out blue light when I'm typing on it for hours. When it comes to gaming on this monitor, I loaded up Fortnite to test its performance under different lighting environments, movement and landscapes. I also played some FIFA to evaluate the colours and fluidity of the output. I must say, I was very impressed as everything looked great even at 1080p. Although I am not going to be using this monitor for gaming, 
I was pleasantly surprised with how well it performed. However, if you intend to use this monitor for gaming, I think it would be a better fit for moderate gamers rather than hardcore competitive gamers. After using the 24N1 Cori 24 inch computer monitor, let me share my final thoughts. First, in regards to longevity, I expect this monitor to hold up well. And for extra peace of mind, Curie kindly provides a 3 year warranty if anything goes wrong. Regarding this particular monitor, I found that the IPS panel causes some colour distortion when viewed from the sides, which is not typical for IPS panels, however the overall viewing angle for colours is fairly good, although not as good as other IPS panels that I've used before. The colour accuracy appears to be great and falls in line with their advertised 99% sRGB. As for gaming, it actually looked better than expected. I wasn't sure how it would look in real life, but it exceeded my expectations. While this kind of monitor is aimed more at business customers and enterprise users, it can still be used for budget gaming. Of course, the display of this monitor is not the best on the market right now. However, I do wish the stand provided better features such as height adjustment and swivel rotation. That would have been a really nice feature to have. But it does have a vase amount on the back side so you can use your own stand to provide those features and capabilities. In the future I'd love to see a USB-A and USB-C ports added and it would be really nice if Kuri could add some built in speakers to this monitor. To sum up, while I won't be using this monitor for hardcore gaming, it will truly be an excellent addition to help aid my workflow when scripting for YouTube or doing emails. I've set this monitor up in portrait orientation to give me that extra level of screen real estate and it fits well for the tasks I intend to use it for. I hope you guys found this video helpful and don't forget to hit that subscribe